Well, deluged with legacy issues at home, General Motors is looking to the future in China, 20 years down the road to be exact, unveiling in Shanghai, along with its Chinese partner SAIC, the two-person ENV, or Electric Network Vehicle, an urban, wirelessly navigated and, of course, environmentally friendly concept vehicle. Sorry, early adopters, this one's for your kids. You'll be middle-aged or older before you can take one for a spin. We think it's a realistic vision because it combines the trend towards electrification with the trend towards connectivity. How far away are we talking? The reason we chose 2030 because we think that uh, that's far enough out for us to be able to envisage for ourselves and for our children. And we think the technology exists today, so it's a challenge of being able to get um, some infrastructure support uh, and some environments in which these vehicles can be um, driven. So we think it's realistically a vision in the next 15 years. Back to the present, GM says its China sales surged 51% year over year in February and 74% so far in 2010. As stimulus measures wind down in China, Wales says the pace of growth should slow as well. The first uh, three months have been good, um, good growth on last year. Uh, the market won't grow at the same rate as last year, but we still anticipate the market to grow, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15 percent, and, you know, we'll end up with a market around 15 and a half million units, we think, so it's going to be a big market. So it will be another record year? It will be another record year, yeah. Be record sales for us and the industry. That is, as long as GM doesn't bump its head along the way. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Shanghai.